Hey Libra, welcome to your general love read. This is for September 21st through the 27th. However, time is fluid. So whenever this comes to you, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. If it does resonate, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's a beautiful way to give back to the channel as well as help the analytics so that more people are seeing this new channel. Also, um, if you find that this resonates, all of my links are down below. So there's the link for the Patreon program, which is where I do my extendeds. So for the extended program, you pay $5 a month, not $5 per video. And then you get access to all of the extended videos for the month. There's also a link for donations. There is a link for my blog where you can look at all the decks that I use. And there is the link for personal readings. Okay, so if you are new here, welcome. I do start out the reading by pulling a card for the collective from my personally channeled Mindset Unicorn deck, and then I will pull up the intentions and lay out the foundation. But I like to do this because that way, even if the reading isn't for you, you're getting some sort of a connection and advice from spirit before you move on your way, okay? So let's see what's going on for Libra. All right, possibilities of love. Libra, Libra. Very nice, Libra. Very, very nice. What's going on for Libra in love? Okay, so for the collective, all right, you get star and harvest. Okay, let me put my granny glasses so I can read to you. Star, there is more than one star, one wish, one desire within your heart. Today you are offered renewed hope and faith. If you feel adrift in the universe, do not doubt that you are still anchored. Okay, now the thing to remember is, okay, stars are wishes. And again, one of the things that um, the wish card says, okay, which is from this deck as well, is that you may be wishing for one thing and wanting for another. So I do feel like, okay, I'm really drawn to the fact that there are more than one star, one wish. You could have multiple wishes and not really know what direction you're going, not really know which one you desire the most. However, so the quote is from William Shakespeare, and it is, Doubt thou that the stars are fire, doubt that the sun doth move, doubt truth to be a liar, but never doubt I love. Okay, so I feel like what you need to remember is no matter what, the possibilities, okay, what the wish is, follow your heart, okay? And then you get harvest, which I love the card of harvest, okay? So planting is a choice. If you expect to see a harvest, you must first choose to plant a crop, decide what type of harvest you want in life, then plant those seeds. Okay, so you could be getting ready to harvest what you want or you could actually be getting ready for a new start okay for a new harvest you may be making a choice to plant the seeds of whatever you truly want next okay the intention here is you get silence and patience so i do feel like you are very intuitive very much you i mean you know what it is that's going on around you. And, um, but you don't say anything because I've got the moon on both of these cards. You don't say anything. You wear a beautiful mask and you're like, I am just patient, patient, 
patient, waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, now what you could be waiting for is what might be about to arrive, which is a brand new we'll take at love here. Now this could be someone returning. It could be somebody brand new. Okay, we'll see more when we start to clarify. But with the star here in the past, okay, we've got the star here twice. I feel like you really know what you want, okay? And there's this energy that you're not going to take less. Okay, current energy here with the Queen of Wands, you could feel very balanced, um, but there also could be two options, okay? And perhaps right now you feel like, I don't want to make a choice, okay? Future energy is the chariot. Um, I'm almost feeling like this is like this sense of getting carried away, like perhaps, and they're really drawing me, okay, to my symbol here for friendship. So perhaps there's somebody that you are definitely, okay, truly connected to that is a friend of yours and something here in the future is just going to like take over and carry this into a different energy, okay? So let's clarify a little bit, see what's going on here. All right. Yeah, what you're really hiding, okay, the way that you feel. <laughs> because here we've got that Queen of Wands again, and this is in the dark, okay? with that lit up fire. So you're like, whatever this is that you want, you are very, very passionate about it, but you're not, you're not showing and you're restricting. You're like, mm -mm, no, not, -uh, not going there because you require balance. Okay. You are Libra. You require balance and this has not been balanced enough yet. So you're waiting for that new start. Okay. But, um, until it gets here, no one but you is going to know. <laughs> so, in the past here, okay, we've got the, um, we've got the King of Swords and the Empress. Okay, so I do feel like the Empress, okay, I feel like that's you healing your heart, okay, really working on your inner child, but we've got the King of Swords and the Emperor. Okay, so either this person has like a duality within them, okay, a duality of personality here, or this person and this person are two different people. And you can tell they're very different personalities, whether it's someone's personality or actually, you know, the different people. So the one personality is very like, Siri is saying chaste in my head. And what I'm getting is can't go there, can't do this, can't look at you, nope. Mm -mm. I am a saint. I have my robes on and, um, I shalt not, you shalt not pass is what they told me. Oh, that was funny. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I guess this is what happens after I've been doing readings all day. And the second one, okay, is the emperor. Okay. And the emperor's personality is cocky and sexy and more than willing to take off those clothes. <laughs> okay. And you're like running from both of them. <laughs> like a little turn back of, you know, what have I gotten myself into here? And off you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Current energy here. Okay, current energy here is that 
you are. Okay, we've got the Page of Cups again. So there is this feeling of you trying to rush towards love, okay? And it is a divine soulmate connection. And it is divine timing, okay? I feel like what we're seeing here with the Queen of Wands is that you have been repeating cycles, okay? And this strength here could be all about just balance for the Libra. It could be about um, this person's duality, okay? If that's what resonates for you. But in order for things to balance, because there really is a sense of balancing, okay, here, is that you do have to complete a cycle, okay? So future energy here, okay. Okay, again, I feel like someone is going to step forward with an offering of love and it's going to really ignite your passions, okay? You may get a little carried away. And, okay, the truth is, is that this is the person that you want, but this person may not be able to take the actions that you desire, okay? And so you may feel like it's moving forward, but that could actually be a little deception, okay? So let's get a little bit clearer. Okay, the reason why you are currently silent, okay, and resisting against this is because you've been working on getting into your balance. I mean, you're Libra, you have to be balanced, okay? And the temperance is about, you're finally like, you're coming out of these emotions, okay? And feeling like you're in a little bit more of solid ground, okay, where you can have that truth. Okay, you can be accepting of what you feel. And it is all about what you feel here, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles, um, it's very root chakra placed. It's really about accepting your higher self, your intuitive knowing about this. But all of this work that you've been doing is all about, okay, this heart, this heart chakra, this, this healing within okay, with the Ten of Cups here, because this is what you have desired, what you have wanted, but you have a vision of how you want it, and so there's a hold back here. I do feel like you pulled away from this person, okay? Um, they may have already pulled back away from you before you did this. This may have been a counter move, okay? Where you pulled back away from them and you kind of took a stance, all right? I'm pulling myself back to my own space because your space is not healing for me. But I feel like even if you pulled away, it didn't stop this person, okay? They're spying on you. They're watching everything that you're doing. But the way that you did it, it still feels balanced to you, okay? I do feel like, all right, you do see this, like there's this hidden energy of this being that soulmate connection, okay, the lovers. And you know that it's like one in a million. Like, you see this as being the unicorn, okay? This this something very special. 
but you, again, you're wearing that mask. You're very deceptive in that energy that you are not, you're not discussing this with this person and they're probably not discussing it with you. Okay, here's the thing. I feel like the Empress really knew that this was shining a light on all of this heart healing and that it was divine timing. And I do feel like, okay, you wanted to leap forward, okay? I feel like you were ready, like at the top of this, like, you know, energetic field. I'm going to go. But there's a lot of fear, could be a lot of fear about future stability where you pulled back, okay? Okay, I feel like, all right, the King of Swords here has a lot of love for you here, okay? With the King of Cups, okay? And the star, like you are also their wish, okay? And also like their pain and you really, like you really took it out of them in their truth, okay? You really made them see the dark side of themselves and you made them see um, what had been missing, okay? Okay, on the side of the emperor here, okay, this is the side that is, okay, cocky and guarded, okay, and clarified by the emperor. Okay, who kind of does their own thing, um, leaps at their own, you know, desires. Really working right now, okay, on there's this deep connection, all right, with the natural world. And they're really working on their foundation um, and calling in like their magic but behind the scenes so that nobody can see. Okay, so that's the other side of this energy from your past. Okay, so whoever this is that you're thinking of that you want, that is your soulmate here, okay? If you're the Queen of Wands, they're coming through right now as the King of Wands, and they could be coming back around, okay? Coming in to connect with you. Um, but they could be coming in with that King of Swords energy, okay? Where there's like a a blockage against I'm going to come in and I'm going to be gentle, a gentle little flighty creature, okay, which is back and forth, but I'm also king of swords. I'm not going to allow my emotions to get involved here. All right. And so with the seven of cups, you do know that you have the option whether you want to take the cup or not. Okay. And I do feel like bottom of the deck here, like some of you feel like taking this cup would be like doing an about face and going back and repeating cycles. And you are not gonna do that. Okay, future energy here. 
okay? You may kind of rip off this person, right, in current energy. And then they're going to come back. And they're going to be like, okay, ace of pentacles, eight of wands. I'm going to make another attempt at this, okay? Ten of swords. I'm almost over my own little mess in my head, okay? To where I can actually come in and um, support this. Yeah, because we've got the Ten of Swords here, bottom of the deck. All right, there's the Ace of Swords. And so you actually have Ace of Wands twice here. Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. All right. Um, but this person is going to come back and be like, okay, fine. You want to know the truth? Okay, here's the truth. And they're going to take a different approach. All right. I feel like this different approach, Six of Cups, brings in the reconciliation. All right, Seven of Swords, it makes you ready, willing, and able to fight for this because now it's something worth fighting for, okay? Now, here's the thing with the deception with the moon okay you have to understand that this is your wish fulfilled okay this person so it's going to be very heart centric all right um moving forward six of swords okay you need to release whatever this past was with this person okay because otherwise you're just moving forward to get hurt this has to be this feeling between both of you that this is truly a brand new beginning. And with the two of pentacles, then the two of you can kind of come together in this work to figure out what it means. Because if you don't do it in that way, it really does then become deception on both of your parts. All right. Okay, there is a decision here that you're going to have to make. You're definitely being guided here, okay, to make sure that you are um, not just thinking with your heart, but thinking with your head. I feel like you right now are very guarded towards this person, even though you still want to take this action forward. But you're in a different energy than you were in the past with this. Okay, now you're in the energy of kind of going with the flow. Okay, you've, you've taken, you know the truth of this. You've let it all marinate in your head and get all wonky, okay? But now you're like, all right, I'm in the energy flow. Now I'm going to go with it, okay? I'm not going to fight it, but I'm also not going to chase it either, okay? Definitely, you know, approach this from that healed energy that you are in, okay? You've come into this knowing and this, this really good energy where you've done a lot of healing, okay? And you're very intuitive on what you require now. This really is, okay, this card to me is about the Empress, Okay, with the sacred divinity, um, it's about honoring your divine feminine, no matter what, whether you're male or female, okay, and making sure that, so there are two paths here, 
Okay, so making sure that you are getting from this what you require from it, okay? But again, okay, before you leap, look beneath the surface, okay? Make sure, because there's this desire that you want to leap at this, okay? But make sure that before you leap at this, that you are very sure and certain that you are getting both, you know, emotionally and physically, but energetically what you desire out of this before you move forward. Okay. So I hope that this helped you and I'm going to move into the extended and see what's going on on their side of things. Um, see what comes through. And I hope to see you there. The link's in the description box. All right. Bye.